Hello everyone and welcome back to Tesla Ryan. In the video today, I'll be reviewing the NEMA L515 adapter from evseadapters.com and seeing how it compares to the baseline from the NEMA 515 adapter from Tesla. If you missed the first video in this series when I recorded the baseline, I put a link in the description below, so be sure to check it out. As usual, the testing will be performed on a Tesla Model Y at 50% battery level and charging up to 90% battery level. This 40% of charge should allow us to extrapolate how quickly this connector can charge the vehicle and how well it performs. The video will be broken down into several parts of testing. Build quality. Electrical performance and thermal performance. Up first is build quality. Although this is a third-party adapter, it's built very well and fits snugly into the mobile connector. Cabling is much thicker than the Tesla 515 adapter and length is ample at 19.3 centimeters. Flexibility is decent, which allows for the mobile connector to dangle pretty securely away from the outlet. The plug itself seems to be well made and is removable. Upon opening, we see the thermal protection circuit, which cuts amperage down if it hits a certain temperature threshold. We also see that the conductors appear to be 10 gauge, rated well above the requirements for this 15 amp connector. Side note here, I ordered this L515 adapter secondhand quite a while back, and EVSE Adapters has a newer version with a sealed plug now available. Next is the electrical performance. As usual, the electrical performance data was gathered via the Tesla API using Teslify. Voltage was maintained well, starting off with 121 volts and averaging around 118 volts for the 26 hour and 38 minute charging session. At 12 amps, this adapter supplied the vehicle with an average of 1.42 kilowatts and 4.72 miles of range per hour of charging. During the session, the charger consumed 37.76 kilowatt hours of electricity and added 31.10 kilowatt hours to the battery itself, giving it an overall efficiency of 82.4%, which is great for a 120 volt charger. Battery percentage gained per hour was around 1.5%. So if charging with this adapter from 0% to 100%, assuming no slowdowns after 90%, this would roughly take 66.58 hours, or 2 days and 18 hours and 35 minutes to fully charge your Model Y. Finally, the thermal performance. Using the Corsair Commander Pro, I attach these thermal probes to three points on the adapter and charger itself. The plug that's connected to the wall, the cord from the plug to the mobile connector, and the body of the mobile connector itself. The fourth probe was suspended away from the charger to measure ambient temperature. Temperature measurements were taken in Celsius every five seconds for the duration of the charging session. Per usual, as the charging ramped up, we can see the temperature start to rise very quickly on all parts of the charger. But unlike the baseline, the body of the charger becomes and remains the hottest part of the system. All of the temperatures level off once the charging session gets underway, and the body remains in the lead for most of the whole charging session. You can see that the adapter really benefits from the thicker wiring as the plug and cord remain much cooler despite the ambient temperature being 31.27 degrees Celsius, which is only 1.41 degrees cooler than the baseline test. The plug, cord, and body average temperatures are shown here as well. Since the temperature numbers don't mean a whole lot out of the context of the ambient temperature, here are the numbers for the temperature over the ambient temperature. The body again stays in the lead for the majority of the test with the plug and cord following respectively. Lastly, here are the maximum temperatures experienced during the charging session for additional insight as well. You can see that the trend continues with the hottest part of the charger being the body, then the plug, and then the cord. To sum up the results, this well-built adapter performed very well over the baseline. 
Physically, it has a 27% longer cord than the Tesla 515 adapter and a 22% thicker cord thanks to its 10 gauge wiring. Electrically, it's roughly 0.5% leg up in efficiency over the Tesla 515 adapter allows it to gain around 0.02 battery percent faster per hour, which should save you around 51 minutes if you were charging from 0% to 100%. That may seem like a long time, but keep in mind that's around 1.27% time savings over a 66.58 hour charging session. Thermally is where the adapter sees the biggest gains over the Tesla 515 baseline. As you can see here, the thick wiring slashes most of the thermal numbers to well under half of what they were in the baseline over the ambient temperatures. So that about does it for my quick review of the NEMA L515 adapter from EVSEadapters.com. I'm not endorsed by EVSEadapters.com, but I went ahead and included a link to purchase this adapter in the description below if you're interested. I'll be releasing these videos based on amperage to minimize wiring changes and maximize consistency between tests. For the next video in the series, I'll be testing the first 240 volt adapter, the Tesla brand 615 adapter, so be sure to check it out. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day!